Uh, oh, there's a guy here that looks like he might be alive. Mm, he looks like he might not have legs. The hiker is dead. Someone has hollowed him out with their teeth from behind. So if you wanted to, you could get inside him and wear him like a suit. What the fuck is going on? Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Statewood Let's Play. We're on episode 2 and we're about to go through Petalburg Woods. We got stopped in the last episode by this zombie thing. I don't know if it, is it a woman, is it a ghost? It's something disgusting, and it absolutely battered us because the the level curve is ridiculous in this playthrough. So, what I've done is I've done a little bit of grinding. I say a little bit. I've done a lot. 13s, 14s, 12 there. Uh, because I think, if I remember, and I don't... Um, yeah, she had, like, level 12 Pokemon, I think. So, uh, I had, like, level 5 and 6. So, I was never going to win. So, before we kick off, uh, if you enjoyed the first part of this series, if you think you enjoyed the second part, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe, and my daddy's ringing me at an awful time, I will be right back. Right, where was I? I don't know. Oh well, that was, that was my father calling. He does pick his moments. Right, well, we're going to go have a look at the team, and then we're going to go and beat up this chick. Uh, so, we have got Pishacha, the Puccienna, with Runaway, Dark Type, and his moves are Tackle Howl and Sand Attack. We also got those leftovers that we stole from that lady's corpse, uh, because that was fun, because corpses are for looting. Uh, we've got a Ball Toy up in here, Grand Psychic, obviously, Levitate, Confusion, Sidebeam, Rapid Spin, and Sand Tomb. And we've got C dot here, Bide, Harden, Growth, and Nature Power with the Chlorophyll ability, which raises its speed in sunshine. Next, we've got Talo. Scroofles the Talo. Growl, Peck, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack. And this guy's got Guts. Oops, Attack if Suffering. Skitty. Tackle, Sing, Tail Whip, and Attract. And this guy's got... Cute Charm infatuates on contact. I hate Cute Charm when I'm against it, but I suppose it's pretty good to have it on your team. And then, of course, we've got the Egg, which is a disease type. So we'll have to wait and see what is in it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a new Pokemon on this game. One that's not usually found in any other Pokemon game. What do you call them? Fake Mons. It's going to be one of them. So let's take this Let's take this chick on. Levitating Legless Corpse. Yeah, we've had this, we've had this talk before. And there she is. Oh, dude, that sprite grows. So, Hound Sour. I feel like this wasn't what was giving us the problems before. I feel like it was whatever came after. Because we had... Um, I was using ground type moves against this with Ball Toy. So I didn't have any issues with it. Goes for Glare. Which paralyzes us. That's okay, because we're going to kill it with a crit tackle. Thank you very kindly. Dirt Crow, yes, that was what was giving us the issues. So, let's go in with Strigoi. See what Strigoi can do. I remember you, Dirt Crow. Uh, Sing is a good start. And then we can just mash this guy down, I think. Wakes up, goes for Peck, but it gets infatuated. Which means that I think we're going to be able to grind this out. So keep it immobilized by love. One more tackle. Ah, I guess for the super potion. Okay. Let's sing it again. Just to be on the safe side. I know we've got the um, got the infatuation off, but oh, that's a good critical hit. Wakes up quite early. It's in love. It's immobilized by love. Ah, this is easy. That grinding has made this much easier. We're about on the right levels now. And hopefully we can keep that up, up until the gym and not have to grind again. Ah, such strength! Dude, this old lady. Levitating corpse. <laughs> we demons... Ah, so she's a demon. We demons may possess corpses, but we are honourable. You have defeated me, and so I shall warn you that stronger demons than I lurk ahead in the city that you call Rustboro. The corpse crumbles into the dust. The demon filters back into the netherworld. Looted a stone badge from the corpse. 
What? We, we just got our first gym badge. This badge, it seems familiar. I think I remember something. I can feel a flashback coming. <laughs> it's convenient. I can feel a flashback coming. Oh, here it comes. Pow. Landon, this stone badge raises the attack of my Pokemon. I got it from Gym Leader Roxanne. Oh! These Gym Badges, the Gym Leaders have them and the Gym Leaders are strong. What could possibly have happened to Rustbow that even the Gym Leader was defeated? I better investigate with extreme caution. So, Landon is our brother and Landon, this was one of his Gym Badges. That's what we're saying right now. Hmm. Seems a bit strange. Let's keep it moving. It seems to have gotten dark as well. Um, I'm going to die. I can feel the poison chill in my blood and turn my brain to soup. Oh, shit. See ya. Yeah, this is trippy. I don't know if I... Don't... Okay, we've got an ether. It's not that interesting, is it, really, if we're honest? So... In addition to hit points, power point, yeah, we know about all this stuff. Is there an item there? No. Yes, a great ball could be useful. Let's take on this spooky, scary demon or whatever it is. Mmm, a fresh, juicy body right for the taking. Gross. Stay away from my kids. Demon corpse. I didn't get a chance to read that. Secret egg. Is secret egg a Pokemon now? It is, and it uses sand attack. It's an egg! How can you use sand attack? I don't understand that. I don't know, it's quite powerful though. I can't really do any harm to it. I've no idea what type it is. Maybe it's going to be disease type, like that um, egg that I've got. That might make sense. So, it's got a grass type move, so that's a little bit scary. Goes for Harden. Oh, hit it with a sand tomb. <sighs> that's going to do ongoing damage, and then maybe Psybeam? Yeah, that was okay. This thing's got a lot of HP. It's bulky. Secret eggs just making me think of Kinder eggs. I'm really hoping there's a little toy inside this thing. We get... 200 experience apiece for those guys. And Andrum Andromalius. Demon Corpse Andromalius. Brilliant. No, I've been driven out. You have indeed. Curses, you've banished me. The corpse turned to dust. And the demon goes back to the Neverworld. So we're looking at zombies and demons and all sorts of shit here. Medical kit. Good. We get healed up. Well, let's go up to Rusper and see what the deal is there. We've somehow got a gym badge already. That's what I find interesting. Oh. Oh, no. Is that Pikachu? Oh, Pikachu, look away. Don't look. And you, Pikachu. Just don't look. Face this way. Oh, no. Oh. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. The severed head of the Pikachu has been marked on a state. Loot this dead Pikachu. I'm sorry, dude. Super Potion. A severed head of Pikachu has been mounted on a stake. I know that. Oh, I'm sorry, Pikachu. I'm sorry I had to do that. I don't take pleasure in it. So let's go and get some encounters up in this grass up here. See what there is to find. Something new, maybe. And let's... So there's nobody in here. That's good. It's a Whelmer Pail. Ah, so we still get the Whelmer Pail in here. That's good. And there's a backpack here. Medical kit. It's fine. And we keep on moving. And we're going to... Okay, there's an item there. And a hidden item there. That's good. Potions and Pokeballs. It's kitting me out pretty well. Super Potion there as well. Flipping it. Is there something in every gap? Now, Taylor. We've already got one of you. Thank you. I guess that's it. Is there anything else up here that I haven't got or that I want? Like, I 
I haven't got a Zigzagoon, but I don't want one. I'm quite happy to not have a Zigzagoon on the team. Wormpull. I don't really want one of them either. Thanks anyway. There we go, level 13. And he learns Bite as well. Good stuff. Okay, let's get out of this grass. Keep on moving up towards Rusper. Oh, every time I see that Pikachu's head. Oh, he's even got a little frown. Look at its frown. Oh, no, Pikachu. Look away. Ah, zombie. I'm not a zombie. I'm a good guy. You've got Poochena. I've got Poochena. Let's let them make sweet Poochena love and have some little Poochena babies and sell them on the black market. Grindy battle. That leftovers makes battles. It, I mean, it's good because it means I'm gonna live more. Live more, but ugh, it makes battles so much longer. Just having that little animation at the end. And survivor Lily. Oh, you're not a zombie. Correct, because I didn't turn to dust after you kicked my ass. Now I'm lost, tired, and with a faint of Pokemon. I'm surely dead meat. Oh, I'd give you a potion or something, but I don't care if you die. Uh, I don't really want to battle this old lady. Mm, or do I? You're a trainer, then you can help the citizens of Rusper. Right, go to the city and riddles of the demons. If it'll help, please take this TM. Oh, see, this is why you talk to old people, because they give you things. Go down to your local nursing home, spend some time with some old biddies, pretend it's charity work, and I promise you, they'll leave you something in their world. It's called exploitation, and it works very well. And, uh... This guy maybe is going to give me a fishing rod. No, I guess not. Grass Whistle. A haunting tune that may put the Pokemon to sleep. Uh, no, I'm going to keep hold of that for now. Zombies can't cross running water, so I'm safe on this bridge. Mm, yeah, but can't they cross, like, the bridge? I'm really confused about that. Oh, you've got a beast of a Magikarp right there, my, my, my kind sir. My kind sir! You need to get it up one more level. You've got a Gyarados. What are you waiting for? Next, he's got another Magikarp. I'm guessing he's going to have two Magikarp and a, maybe a Gyarados at the end. Mm, who knows? Maybe not. Maybe it's a bit early for him to have a Gyarados, to be fair. Like, I've just got the first gym badge. There shouldn't be people with Gyaradoses in any Pokemon game at this point. Easy enough. Fisherman Dunstan is about to use Magikarp. He's just got three Magikarps. Oh, boring. Right, we're going to keep Pishachat in, and then we'll uh, start swapping it about once he gets up to level 14. Uh, what you got for me? Ha! Okay. So. There's zombies there. There's a zombo up there. There's no zombos down here. So let's get these berries. And, I mean... Ah, Rustboro! That warm, welcoming Rustboro tune. Oh, and there's some kids. Defend. Pl oh, I seem to have turned to steel. That's okay. Uh, this is a this is a rom hack game, and glitches are going to happen. There's kids in there, but they, there's no way to get in or out of there, so I guess they're just stuck, which is a bit a little bit creepy. Okay. Well, whatever. Don't want to battle them zombies. Oh, maybe I should. There's grass there, but I don't know where that is. Oh no, it's the back of the. Um, it's the back of the flower shop. That's okay. I've been. Is that just a, is that a decapitated head just on the ground there? Um, I think it might be. Let's. I just walked into it. That was a good sound effect for walking into a decapitated head. I'm going to ignore it for a second and see what's going off in. There's another decapitated head over there. The stairs are broken and don't look safe to climb. Also, there are skulls scattered on them. Just in case they were already didn't look bad enough. Here's some skulls. Uh, a new body for me. Yeah. Demon Corpse Oribas sends out Dirt Crow. Dude, that just looks like a shiny Murkrow. Like, it looks absolutely awesome. Oh, wait, is it missing its wings? Ah. Ah, yeah. That's not cool. And down goes that fucker. 
He was shit anyway. This thing's level 16, like... These... Oh, that was a bad move. These Pokemon are a little bit overpowered, aren't they? If we're, if we're honest here. Um, what, what, how am I going to beat this? Let's try Nature Power and see what I'll come out with. Swift. That's alright. Um, let's go again. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to keep running into these things that I just cannot beat on her. It's, it's just going to keep happening. Wing attack. How's that pet done so much damage to me? I'm a flying type. Well, it's all down to you, Strigoi. Maybe I should have done this in the first place and tried to put it to sleep. Oh, and I couldn't get it to sleep. Goes for Peck again, but it gets infatuated. And I've got it to sleep, which means I might just finish it off. If I can get another tackle off. Go on. Yay! We didn't get destroyed. I'm trying to learn double slap. Yes. Get rid of Tail Whip for that. Thank you. Nicely done. Now, please say she hasn't got another Pokemon. There we are. Blast you with hellfire! Sorry, darling. You exercised me. The corpse crumbled into dust. The demon floated back into the other world. Sorry. Rah! Oh, this is a battle as well. For God's sake, it's a severed head. Why is it? A... Severed head, Ken. Severed head. Come more like. Oh, it's a jinx. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Powder snow. Oh, that's going to destroy me. GG. Good game. Now, where's that going to take me back to? Oh, we're back to Petalburg. Oh, that's a joke. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Right, that's it. Back to Rustboro, BRB. And we are back in Rustboro. And let's see. Because I... This is going to be another battle. Yeah. What's it got? This thing's got a jinx as well. So that one inside had a jinx, and now this one's had a jinx. Oh yeah, I got into a battle on the way up here, so uh, Pishacha is not looking at his best right now. Now this thing's not going to have ice moves, yeah, so I can just destroy it with screw falls. Rawr, 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 rawr. Severed head Benji. Anything else? It's a severed head. It seems to be very much alive for a severed head. These things are obviously rather possessed. No, I did want to be in there, because I'm going to kill this head. I'm not going to be beaten by a severed head. Raw. Oh wait, it's not my curse on the screen. Go away. Seven Head Kent would like to battle. Sends in I I I I. Okay, so we can beat this with Sabi. Oh no, we can't. Bag of shit. Let's go for Sin. That part of snow is annoying. Double slaps good. Oh yeah, a few of them. Easy. Another eye eye. So we'll go for Slicing again. No, we won't. Oh, it's going to kill everything I've got with its stupid um, ice powder snow thing. That's so annoying. Wait, hang on. Survive! Ah, oh, one more of them would have done it as well. Flipping heck. Yeah, there must be somewhere to heal in um, Rustboro. So that I can just keep going back to Rustbury instead of going back to Petalburg. Because that's annoying. Oh my god, it's a Pikachu! Okay, I want that on the team. Let's get the... Yeah, I'm going to use my Great Wall for this thing. I feel like I'm not going to run into many Pikachus. Yeah, boy, it's Pikachu. Pikachu's data was added to the Pokedex. Now, let's find Pikachu a nice spooky name. Preferably a P. And I'm looking at some good spooky names. P. Tai Hong from Thai Folklore. The most feared type of ghost in all of Thai Folklore. A restless and angry spirit of a person who suffered a violent death. Decent. That is what we're going to call our Pikachu. Giving it a name to catch Pikachu, yes. I think it'll fit in. Just. Uh, Fi. Ty. Whoa. Ty. Oh yeah, it's going to fit. Fi Ty Hong is its name. Yeah, we're learning about... Not only is this... 
entertaining, not that entertaining, but it's also educational. We're learning about different ghosts from different cultures. It's a multicultural show, this is. You might not have realised it. It might not look like it on the surface. It might just look like another plain old Pokemon playthrough, but I'm cultured and I'm, and I'm... Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. That's a loot crate, and it's got potions. How many of those can I... Oh, I can just keep, keep looting those. Good. So, let's see what buildings still exist. There seems to be lots of zombies in there. Cutter's house. Give me cut, please. We had the Pokemon Center moved here to hide it from the demons. Ah, this used to be the Cutman's house, but I think the demons got him. Where did they take his HMs, I wonder? What happened to his daughter? Hey, kid, you're our trainer, right? Then maybe you can use this. Mush mask. That's it. Why is he just going invisible? There's a man somewhere who studies mushroom Pokemon. Okay, so I've got a mush mask. Let's see what the fuck that's about. A mask of a mushroom head. Okay, well, I guess that's fair enough then. So, we'll heal at the Pokemon Center because hopefully that's going to make this our spawn point now. And we will deposit some Pokemon so that we can get Pikachu. Who do I not want? I know who I don't want. It is Skitty. Or, as I'd like to call him today, Shitty. And then we're going to get uh, Fai Tai Hong on the team. Oh, and he's holding something as well. Uh, that's not how you have a look at what he's holding, is it? We'll go down here. Summary. Static, that's good. Careful nature. Minor TM. And it's under shock and growl, so good starting moves as well. Let's uh, take that item away and see what it is. Minor TM. For miners, must be unlocked to use. Right, so there's a miner somewhere that's going to be able to unlock that for me then, I guess. Pokemon Trainer School, will teach you anything about Pokemon. Uh, anything knocking around back here? No. Okay, let's have a quick look in the Trainer School. There's a ball. Demon Horn! We have a Demon Horn. It's a student's diary. We blocked the door today with Derek's corpse, but it doesn't seem to do any good. However, many times we block it up, the demons always eat their way through again. We've run out of food and guns. Elise was taken today. It's just left. It's just me left. I'm going to do it with the last bullet. Shit. This is a real apocalypse going on right here. Demon horn. Hold on. It occasionally allows the first strike. Oh, so that's a uh, quick claw then. Okay, I seem to have turned to steel again. That's that. Oh. Ah, oh, what was her name? Something really bad. That Alicia girl from before is just to the south. I wonder if she has any answers to give me. Okay, so I've got to talk to Alicia. Hmm, I'm surprised you got this far. I thought the demons I left behind in the woods would have taken you down. What, you're working with them? Alicia, didn't my training class give it away? I'm a death caller, a servant of Lord Gravatrick. Who's that? Why should I tell you anything? But since my demons couldn't get rid of you, I guess I have to instead. I'm going to battle her again. She's going she to annihilate me. And I want her outfit. So she goes in with Sableye. Uh, I can bite you because you're a ghost type. And that's going to do some decent damage. That's such a bit of shit. And I've got the leftovers of that woman's corpse. So that's meant I can survive that one. Next we've got Shuppet. It's another ghost. Uh, I don't think Shuppet's got Dark as well. So let's go for Psychic. Yes, there we go. Perfect, thought that one through. Marley gets up to level 14 as well. And then we've got Sneasel again. Uh, that has got Dark typing. I feel like it's Dark Ice now. I can't go in for you. You know what? Stay in and go for uh, Sand to Get a little bit of damage off. And then we'll hit it with the rapid spin again. That's the way we beat it the last time. Which, depending on what it goes for. It's just going for Torn. So I kind of think this is going to be okay. This is what happened last time. This thing should be absolutely destroying me, but because it keeps going for Torn, it isn't. Right, there we go. Get Revenant in. Hopefully the Sandstorm is going to... Not the Sandstorm, the Rock Tomb is going to be enough to finish it off. Ah, the Sandstorm's over. Can't use Nature Power because of Torn. That's fucking up. So we'll go for Bide. Just keeps going for Torn. 
so why is not he doing anything? Now nature power goes for taunt again. Survive. There we go. That's the one. Revenant gets level 15. And we beat Alicia again. I lost to you again, Alicia, may I just add. Oh, and Revenant's evolving! Perfect. That's exciting. We're going to get ourselves a Nuzleaf right now. Nuzleaf. Revenant the Nuzleaf is on the team. There we go. Whatever. I've already called up a godly number of, goodly number of demons. I'll just go back to Vendon Turf and file my report to her demon master. Got to make sure she gets the paperwork in on time. Oh, honestly, I've, I've walked 10 metres. Hmm, he's late. This is not acceptable. Come in, master. Oh. You are unacceptably late, Dantalian. Dantalian. I apologise, master. This body is rather slow. It is a result, I believe, of the legs having been removed. <laughs> oh, dear. Make sure you acquire another soon. I will require you to be at your best when we challenge them. Do you mean the... F don't mention their names. Beings of as much power as they can hear their name whispered over many miles. I don't wish to bring down their wrath upon us before we are ready. Yes, Master. Be silent, although I have cloaked us with a field of invisibility. The demons of this place will hear us if we do not keep our voices down. I have found the vessel that is summoning them. However, it is in a cave to the northeast of here. Together we will dismantle it. Yes, Master. Okay, so they're going to a cave northeast. What was that? Who were they? Something about them felt familiar. Is it possible I've met them before? And how is it possible that I could see them when plainly no one else could? I guess it doesn't matter if they're going to stop these horrific demons, then they're my allies. I'd better go and help them. I might even get some answers into the into the bargain, you know, I'd say. What bargain? Oh, I'm made of steel again. Okay, so this is the Pokemon Center. So, quick heal, and I kind of want to start training this Pikachu up. So, let's get him out different and then we'll just do a bit of switch training human like you it would be beneath me to even consume you so you're not going to let me in there basically and that's the Hoenn bank interesting devon corporation for all your living needs well there's not many living needs in it. wait a sign authorized personnel only true that was close i always went in somewhere i wasn't meant to oh imagine that imagine going in somewhere you're not supposed to fucking square uh, oh, there's a guy here that looks like he might be alive. Mm, he looks like he might not have legs. The hiker is dead. Someone has hollowed him out with their teeth from behind. So if you wanted to, you could get inside him and wear him like a suit. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Loot his corpse. Yes. Zombie liver. Could get behind him and wear him like a suit. That's disgusting. Whoever wrote this game is a sick bastard. The gym is ah, this gym's open. Even though I've already got the gym badge, um, there's no gym leader. However, there is an item, and it is TM39. And of course, Roxanne is normally the gym leader here. Um, therefore, we get Rock Tomb. That makes sense. Because that's what she gives. Well, let's keep on moving then, shall we? I don't... Uh, I don't know. Do I need to battle you? Let's just do it. Possessed corpse. These zombies in the pen down there, they're food for us, dear. By the way, that's a lovely body you managed to get yourself. Hardly a scratch on it. Ah, oh, she thinks I'm a demon. She thinks I've possessed this body. Ah, she doesn't know shit. Oh, what's that? I sense a presence. You! What are you doing here? Don't pretend to be confused. You can't fool me, even disguised as you are. Who are you? I've lost my memory and you look familiar. I'm Ghost, by the way. Can it be? I do not believe this to be a lie. Hmm. Very well, you may call me Gleese. Oh, can I call you something easier? It seems I have mistaken you for someone else. You must possess an uncommonly strong second sight in order to be able to see me. And I only know one other human with that power. That is where my confusion arose from. I see. Mm, I overheard you earlier saying you were going to destroy the thing that was making the demons appear. And I want help. Came here to look for my brother and his girlfriend, but an old woman asked me to drive the demons away, so I said I would, and well, I'm going to, so let me help. You look strong, yes, but I am not sure you're quite up to this task. 
If you please, may I test you first? Oh, another bloody battle. Jeez, man. And he's got a face leech. That looks like you've ripped an arm off of a Deoxys. That's what that looks like. Uh, and with that in mind, I don't know who's a good Pokemon to take it on. Okay, that would... Well, it's got poison type moves, so not Revenant, who's a grass type. That's what we've learned there. Marley is ground. Use my psychic type moves on it. Should be okay. There we go. Perfect. So it looks like that was probably part poison type. And Python gets a late. Worms Thunder Wave. Good. Player defeats. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Very well, you may accompany me. I shall now heal your Pokemon. My servant, Dan Talion. He's waiting at the cave mouth to the east. I'll go and join him. When you've prepared yourself, please join us. I'll explain what must be done. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready to join you. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm going to go this way. Oh, there's someone down here as well. Let's just walk around the back. I don't want to fight loads of zombies. Ooh, items. Repel. Not what I want right now, because I want the encounters. And you ask, you receive... Oh, it's a zigzagoon now. Come on. Uh, I don't... Not even battling it. Wizmer again. Wait, have I got... I've, no, I've not got a Wizmer in this playthrough, actually. I'm lying. I'll say again. Wizmer's from my Fire Red playthrough. And it died. And I made a very funny <laughs> intro about it dying. Didn't even make a funny intro. It, it just made... I slow motioned it to see how it died. And it just made me laugh so much that it became the intro. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get anything new or interesting here. Right, let's get away. Taylor again. Get away from you. Go away, Taylor. Right. Let's see. Okay, so there's an item up there. Special plus. You're going to tell me something. Strange demonic creature like a snail. It uses a man's corpse as its shell. It looks like it's going to move very, very slowly. Oh my god. Strange. And I can't get down here at all now, so that's interesting. I don't really want to battle that zombie. Nothing down there, so I guess we're going to go in the cave. Oh, are you Ghost? Uh, yeah. I'm Dantalion, servant of the one you call Gleese. Oh right, I didn't recognise you. You've changed bodies. Dantalion, yes I have. What do you think of this one, by the way? Does it suit me? Yeah, you look great. Thanks. Anyway, the master has instructed me to remain outside and keep a lookout. He wants you to go inside. I can keep him waiting if I were you. Let's go, boys. Okay. First of all, what can we find in here? More Wisma, just like in the actual Pokemon Ruby. I'd, I'd, I'd like it if they'd have changed the uh, encounters around a bit more. So we can get a bit of different stuff. But that's fine. Let's see. Ghost, you arrived just in time. Come here and we'll talk further. Do you know how demons are summoned, Ghost? No? Then I shall tell you. One sets up a suitable vessel for the demons to flow th through from the pit, and then one casts the appropriate spell. This girl here is the vessel she is channeling the demons through. If I can break her spell, break the spell on her, no more demons will appear. So what do I do? When the demons in the pit sense their portal to this world being closed, they will flock towards it in the hopes of getting through before it closes. I need you to beat them back. Okay, so I've got to do some battling then, I guess. The girl seems kind of familiar. Ah! Landon. May? Oh, she's gone shopping in Slateport with her friend Elise. You know, the cutman's daughter. You're quite alright, Ghost. You appear to be swaying slightly. Oh, I had a flashback, I think. It was just a little flashback. I remembered who this girl was. She's the cutman's daughter. I remember her. Very well. I'll begin work on breaking the spell. Watch out, I sense a demon approaching! Here comes the demon! Oh my god. Demon Balial. What Pokemon do you have? You have an Anorith. I mean, Anorith is going to destroy this Pikachu, obviously. But, uh, let's go for... No, I can, I can do this. Let's have him again. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Molly's trying to use Rock Tomb. Uh, stops the foe from moving with rocks and... The Speed. It, it, uh, 50, 100, 50, 80, 65, 100, 100, 100. Get rid of rapid speed for it. 
I'm about to use another Anorith. This guy loves his Anoriths, so let's use a lot of money. And it's super effective. We can go again. Oh, that's one demon done. Domakara Nikokta! What did he say? He spoke in Hadean. He said something crude with the general meaning of this. I, I dislike you intensely. I'll translate. I fucking hate you. Be careful, here comes another demon. Oh, we've got multiple demons. Asmodeus. They've all got Anoriths, though. Which... It's a bit weird. I feel like, as a demon, you probably have your pick of what Pokemon you want to catch. And an Anorith wouldn't be the first choice that I would go for. But I'm not a demon, so who knows? At least at the minute, we can just grind down all down. Hurry up, Gleason. I can't hold them off much longer. I've almost completed the required spell ghost. Give me a moment more. They're done it. Oh, Lisa's back. What? Ah! Ah! Oh, is she? What just happened? It would appear that she was consumed by the energy released from the ending of the spell. It's just as well. If she had not absorbed it, the energy would have killed us. Oh, my God. Thank you for your invaluable assistance, ghost. We will meet again one day. That was very weird, yeah. Still, I suppose I can't... Expect driving out demons to be a bed of roses. Now that they're driven out, I should continue my search for my brother and May. Maybe someone in Vendenturf knows something about them. So, that means that we've got to head to Vendenturf. Which is, uh... Through here. Normally this is shut off by rocks. Yeah. But it's not. It's open. It's wide open, so we can just go straight through. To Vendenturf. Ah, see, this game's just took a weird turn. Whoa! There's a fucking Dragonite there. Or is it Charizard? It's Charizard. Wait, what happened here? This town is ruined. Ouch, that hurt. What's with this flashback? They don't normally hurt this much. Ah! Pestilence. Ha, the boot is on the other foot now. I knew you couldn't stand against us, and now all that remains is to bid you adieu. And... I must have passed out and fallen down the cliffs. What was that? You, what are you doing here? You've interrupted me. I'll bring you to my boss. Oh, that was bring me there. I was already there. You, I remember you. You're, you're Pestilence. But from where do I know you? And why can't I remember anything about you other than your name? Pestilence. You, what are you doing here? I thought you were dead, destroyed along with that deadbeat town. But wait, you say you only remember my name? Yes, that's right. Who are you, Pestilence? At least I had some success. I may not have killed you, but the impact appears to have at least erased your memory. Needless to say, however, I, Pestilence, the only female member of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, Oh my god, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. This shit's getting convoluted. Cannot afford any loose ends. Oh, and now I've got to battle this girl as well. So, there's Mulder, the Grimer. Uh, so, I can't rock too many more because I'm out of PP. Santu is missing. But it hits, so we're going to get some damage off there. Let's go for Psybeam. It's poison type still, I guess. So, Psybeam is super effective. And we're good. Next, we've got Quillfish. Not a dead Pokemon this time, just a actual Quillfish. So we'll wing attack you. Toxic poisons, but I think. Oh, that water gun finished me off, that's a shame. I think we can uh, get through this with a bite. Oh, and it poisons with Poison Point. Okay, this thing's. Uh, this thing's a monster at level 18. I don't want any grass type moves, that's my problem right now. I have a grass Pokemon, but no grass moves. And it's just killed with Pinpoint. What the fuck? Pin Missile, rather. Ah, uh, this one's good. Well, there we go. That's 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 a loss. Um, I feel like every episode is going to end on a loss. So, ah, <sighs> never mind. Next episode, we're going to fight our way through that tunnel. No, we we don't need to fight anybody again. I think that will all, that'll all be done. I'll have to go back and battle her again, probably. Uh, Pestilence, which is a great name, and then go and work out what the fuck's happened to Vendenturf, because it seems like it's not a town anymore, it seems to be a fucking volcano of some sort. It's a little bit creepy, but yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I've got to make sure I uh, write down to put our new Pikachu onto the team, because uh, that guy is going to be an MVP once I get him trained up. In fact, I'm going to do some training with him before we start the next episode. Seen as now, we need to be at level 18 to beat this fucking thing. I digress. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time for episode 3, and hopefully we can uh, pick another gym badge off of another corpse. Bye!